Hello. Jose Jonathan, you're the only one student here. Thank you for coming. <laughs> I think everyone forgot that we have class today. Oh, Catherine is there. Okay, now we have two. Thank you kids for coming. How are you today? Hi teacher, good evening. Hi, good evening. Well, it's almost time. It is um, 8, 3, 8, 0, 3. Did you complete the old exams for the midterm? Yes. Oh, perfect. Do you have any 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 problem to solve? Um yes, um I difficult um con call call will you me? What, what which exam? number? En mis exams, eh, me costó resolverlo. El midterm. Yes, eh, pero solo la parte en cuanto eh, con cold, cold you y oh, good you mean. Yes. You mean. ¿Y eso qué letra es? Es. Porque estoy ahorita en la A, B. En la... Ah, en la B, ya vi. Ya. Yeah. En, la, en la B, ajá. Uh -huh. Close the door, please. Could you? Could you please close the door? Ajá. Uh ajá. -huh. Uh -huh. No, it's, it's not that it's that, it's not that hard. Okay. Well, but the thing is that you have it, have, have it completed. Well done, Catherine. Vamos a ver aquí, rewriting. C, D, de la pantallita. Oh, let me see. Three participants. And do you know something about Jenny? No? No. Very strange that she's, she's delaying a lot. Can you see can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. Matching. Okay, let's see. Because you are the only two today. Tomorrow we will they will be looking for the link. Uh, from the YouTube class. Hmm. Okay. I think they forgot we will have class today because it's Friday, but we were missing uh, Tuesday's class. That's why we are here today. Okay. So you are the privileged ones. <laughs> okay. In this class, you will be exposed to an audio. Uh, where examples of past, present, and future tenses are used. En esta clase escucharán donde, un audio donde estarán expuestos a evidenciar ejemplos usando diferentes tiempos verbales, tales como pasado, presente y futuro. Pasado, presente y futuro. Ok. Oh, someone is writing in the WhatsApp group, putting a message for you. Let me see what is in. Oh, <laughs> Paul. Yeah, they are, they are. Okay. Just let me see if it's the, oh yeah, it's a YouTube. Okay. I will put the video. Hello and welcome back. 
We're about to listen to different tenses in a single conversation. Pay attention and try to identify the tenses they are using. This neighborhood has changed. Part A, listen and practice. This neighborhood sure has changed. I know. A few years ago, not many people lived here, but the population is growing so fast these days. Yeah, it seems like there's a construction site on every corner. Remember how we used to buy candy at that little grocery store? Now it's a multiplex cinema. Yeah, and they're tearing down our high school. They're going to build a shopping mall. Soon there will be just malls and parking lots. That's because everyone has a car. 50 years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, they drive. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else has changed in their neighborhood? Well, what about that old bookstore? Do you know if it's still there? No, it's not. Now it's a pizzeria. Really? Let's go check it out. All this talk about change is making me hungry. Did you get the tenses? Mm -hmm. Did you notice how they used simple past along with present and future? And stay with us so you can learn to do the same. Let me see, there's one. Lost signal teacher. Oh, Jose Jonathan. Okay, let me play it again because of Jonathan. Hello and welcome back. We're about to listen to different tenses in a single conversation. Pay attention and try to identify the tenses they are using. This neighborhood has changed. Part A. Listen and practice. This neighborhood sure has changed. I know. A few years ago, not many people lived here, but the population is growing so fast these days. Yeah, it seems like there's a construction site on every corner. Remember how we used to buy candy at that little grocery store? Now it's a multiplex cinema. Yeah, and they're tearing down our high school. They're going to build a shopping mall. Soon there will be just malls and parking lots. That's because everyone has a car. 50 years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, they drive. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else has changed in their neighborhood? Well, what about that old bookstore? Do you know if it's still there? No, it's not. Now it's a pizzeria. Really? Let's go check it out. All this talk about change is making me hungry. Did you get the tenses? Did you notice how they used simple past along with present and future? And stay with us so you can learn to do the same. Okay, did you understand the, the, the question? Let me um, read it again, but this time we will be using I participation. Know. Okay, we are only, let me see. We are only, only one. <laughs> oh yes, Rocio, Jose, and Jose Jonathan and Catherine. So two of you will read. And the third will be solving the question, the last question, who wants to read? Hello, teacher. Hi, Rocio. Good evening. Good evening. Hi. Uh, 
Um, uh, can I read? Yes, of course. Who uh, wants, uh, who do you want to play? Tanya or Matt? Tanya. Okay. So I need someone for Matt. Me teacher. Okay, Catherine, you're mad. Okay, begin mm -hmm. with the reading, please. This neighborhood sure has changed. I know a few years ago, not many people lived here, but the po but? population, but mm -hmm. the population. Is growing so fast these days. Uh -huh. Yeah, it seems like there's a construction site on every corner. Remember how we we used to buy candy at that little grocery store. No, it. Now. A, now it mm -hmm. a multiple cinema. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they're tearing down. No sé si así se pronuncia. Tearing. Tearing. Down. Tearing. Que, perdón. ¿Qué es tearing? tearing que lo están, bo, están, eh, lo están botando. Ah, okay. Tearing down. Mm -hmm. Or high school, they're going to be built. I see it very well. Built. Uh -huh. built. A, uh -huh. shop, a shopping mall. Soon there, um, soon there will be just malls and parking lots. Mm -hmm. That, because every, every, um, everyone. Has a, every, repeat. Everyone. Everyone has a car. 50 years ago, people walked every, every hair. Everywhere. Everywhere. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, they're, they drive. Okay, perfect. It is very good. So let's, let's um keep uh okay, let's give a translation to this okay para para estamos viendo los el tiempo pasado el presente y el futuro en todas las oraciones que están acá eh, diciendo verdad entonces Tania le dice este vecindario eh, como que de verdad ha cambiado verdad Sure has changed. Has changed is past participle. Porque tiene el verbo have más un verbo en pasado participio. Solo que en vez de have es has porque está hablando en tercera persona. Están hablando de this neighborhood. Ha cambiado sería la traducción. Se le dice Matt, I know. Es el present. Eh, yo sé, así como yo sé, uh, a few years ago, unos pocos años atrás, not many people lived here, es el pasado, no mucha gente vivió aquí, pero, but the population is growing so fast these days, ese es uh, gerundio, ¿verdad? O ING. Pero la población está creciendo tan rápido estos días. Yeah, it seems like there's a construction site on every corner. Sí, parece que hay un sitio en construcción en cada esquina. Remember how we used to buy candy at that little grocery store. Recuerdas como solíamos. We used to. Solíamos. Welcome, Elena. Solíamos eh, comprar eh, dulces. 
en esa pequeña en esa pequeña tienda, esa es grocery store, es como tienda de barrotes. Now it's a multiplex cine, cinema. Ahora es como un complejo de cines, multiplex cinema. Entonces le dice Tania, yeah, and they are tearing down our high school. Sí, y ellos están bot, eh, tirando abajo, demoliendo prácticamente, demoliendo nuestra escuela. They are going to build a shopping mall. Ellos, ellos van a construir un centro comercial. Soon there will be just malls at parking and parking lots. Pronto solo habrán eh, solo habrán centros comerciales so, y eh, esta, esta, puestos de parqueo, parking lots. Lots es como lotes, entonces así como puestos de parqueo. Matt, that's because everyone has a car. Eso es porque todos tienen un carro. 50 years ago, people walked everywhere. 50 años atrás, la gente caminaba a donde fuera. Nowadays, they drive. Ahora, ellos manejan. Is, is, is clear for you the translation? Or do you have a doubts in the translation? It's clear for you or you don't understand exactly which uh, uh, any word. Teacher, uh -huh. uh, excuse me, uh, nowadays? Um, nowadays, uh -huh. Sería, ¿cómo, cómo fue que, que dijo que significaba la traducción? Eh, podría ser ahora en estos días, porque es now a days. Now es ahora, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces es como que en estos días, ¿verdad? Ellos manejan. Están haciendo un comparativo entre el pasado y el presente. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other question? No? No, teacher. Okay. So the last part. Uh, the lady made a question with the audio. You remember what was the, the, what they were talking about? What else has changed in the neighborhood? ¿Qué más ha cambiado en el vecindario? Did you listen to the audio? Let me see. Let me put a reality. Because everyone has a car. 50 years ago, they drive. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else has changed in their neighborhood? Well, what about that old bookstore? Do you know if it's still there? No, it's not. Now it's a pizzeria. Really? Let's go check it out. All this talk about change is making me hungry. <laughs> so what else they are the what else has changed in their neighborhood? It is something related with books. To listen to them. What else has changed in the neighborhood? You don't remember? No. Um, pizzeria, algo así? Yeah. They are talking about an old bookstore. Una vieja librería, una vieja librería. Ellos, le, ellos se, acorda, se acuerdan que ellos, había una librería eh, 
por mucho tiempo ahí, pero le dice, él le pregunta, ¿sigue ahí esa vieja librería? Y le dice ella, no, ya no, ahora hay una pizzería. Entonces él le dice, mira, tanto estar hablando de estos cambios y todo, mejor vámonos porque ya me dio hambre. Le dijo. Así le dijo, porque se pusieron a hablar de la pizza. Let's translate. Exactly. What else has changed in their neighborhood? Well, what about that old bookstore? Where? What about that old bookstore? Bueno, ¿qué pasó con esa vieja eh, librería? Do you know if it's still there? ¿Sabes si sigue ahí? No, it's not. No, ya no. Now it's a pizzeria. Ahora es una pizzería. Really? ¿De veras? Let's go check it out. Vamos y eh, como que vamos a ver, ¿verdad? Let's go check it out. All this talk about change is making me hungry. Oh, todos estos, toda esta plática acerca de cambios me, hizo, me está haciendo tener hambre. Eso es lo que le contesta. Did you get the tenses? Did you notice how they used simple past along with present and future? Stay with us so you can learn to do the same. Okay, it is clear. Or do you have dots, dots for the audio? The old bookstore. No? Did you identify the, 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 ten, the tenses? What is the tense of the first line? Has changed. What is the tense of the first line? ¿Qué es line, lines? Sorry. Línea. ¿Cuál es el tiempo en la primera línea? Porque estamos hablando de tiempos. Pasado, presente y futuro. Ah, oh, ok. Uh -huh. Entonces, ¿cuál pasado. es? Pasado. Pasado, ¿qué? Porque hay un auxiliary que es have. Cuando ponemos el have, ¿qué significa? ¿Es pasado? Um. Mm. Te voy a ayudar. As participle. Out. <laughs> es el pasado participio. Pasado participio, porque es has changed, ha cambiado. Ese es el pasado participio. Ahí vamos a ver la segunda línea. Eh, not many people lived here. What is that tense? The past. Mm -hmm, exactly. Uh, then is, but the population is growing so fast these days. What is that sense? Mm -hmm. Present. I, I think maybe it's present continuous. Yes, because it is it's growing. Mm -hmm, it's growing. Now is, uh, Well, we used to we used to buy is a very normal expression. Is ahora eh, estamos a, eh, let me see. Remember how we used? Recuerda cómo estábamos acostumbrados a comprar dulce en aquella pequeña tienda. Ese es el el tiempo que estaba ocupando. What will be the possible tense? Ahí hay un verbo. Eso es lo que se ocupa para identificar. El verbo está en pasado, used. 
Remember how we used to buy candy at that little grocery store. What is that tense? Mm. The past. Exactly, that's the past. Okay. Then uh, we have a, and they are tearing down our high school. What is that tense? Look for the verb. Present. Yes. Let me see. Present. No. They are they they are tearing. What is that? Remember ing form. So the there's a phrase is in. Present. Continuous. Continuous, exactly. Present continuous. Okay. And the other is they are going to build a shopping mall. What is that? They are going to, what is that? Future. Future with going to, perfect. Okay. And there will be just malls and parking lots. What is that tense? Future. Future with will. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And the other is that's because everyone has a car. What is that tense? Uh, present. No. No. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's simple present. Simple present. And it has because you are uh, talking about the car, right? So yes. it's first person. And the last one is people walked everywhere. What is that? The past. The past. The past, okay. And people walked everywhere. You have to um, put um, attention on those details so you can separate exactly the verb and you will discover what uh, it is being modified. Okay, let me go the other one, the other lesson. Lesson objective. If you see, we have finished the unit because for this week we were having only unit three that uh, finished with the midterm exam. That is why you found this kind of information. Let's continue with, at the end of this class, you will be able to describe events using time contrasts between the past, present, and future. We have mentioned all of these verbs that they are like only showing and you have to investigate. Okay, let me see the time contrast. Time contrast, that is, what do you, how do you translate time contrast? Maybe contrast is the tiempo. Exactly, that is the translation. Let me listen to the audio. Hello everyone, before you watch our video, we want you to write on our discussion box expressions that you already know, which are used in the past, present and future. Time contrasts. Past. A few years ago, not many people lived here. Present. These days, the population is growing so fast. Future. Soon, there will be a lot of shopping malls. People used to shop at grocery stores. Today, people shop at supermarkets. In 20 years, people might buy groceries by computer. 
Fifty years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, people drive their cars instead. In the future, people are going to use cars even more. We noticed you wrote some time expressions related to past, present, and future. Well done. Now let's talk a bit about time contrast. This helps us to talk about perhaps a same situation that we have lived over the years and we want to make reference since it happened, taking it to our present and imagining it in a future. The trick here is for us to use the verbs properly in its right tense along with time expressions. Let's go over the chart. In the first column, we talk about past and we use time expressions like a few years ago, or people used to, or 50 years ago, and our verbs are in past. We used lived and walked. Let's move on to the present, and here we use these days, today, or nowadays, and of course, our verbs are is growing, shop, and drive, which are in the present. Last but not least, we have our future using expressions such as soon, in 20 years, in the future. Therefore, we use verbs in future. Will be, might buy, are going to use. Time contrast is easy to use. Just double check on your verbs. Think about it as one sentence per tense. Okay, we were doing this. We were looking for the bear. That is the one that will give us the, the tip, the tip to solve, to see which tense exactly it is being used. So in this, uh, in the first column, we have passed and say, a few years ago, not many people lived here. So if you see the verb is in past, the rest is just a complement. People is the subject, lived is the verb, and then the other is, uh, the, the rest is the, the complement. People used to shop. La gente solía comprar at grocery store, but this is, a, this is a, an explanation that used to shop, used to shop, there are two verbs, but the main verb is used to, and you change it only one to past, you cannot change two to the past. 50 years ago, people walked everywhere. That is past also because the verb, it contains something that already happened and is done. Nothing can change it. It's something that happened in the past and is not continuing anymore. Now, present is these days, the population is growing so fast. So the clue for the present continues is something that began uh, right now and is continuous to the it is continuing to the future so it's not a stopping it's something that is uh, happening right now okay today people shop at the supermarket that is simple present simple present use the base form of the verb in this case is shop the other example is nowadays people drive their cars instead. Drive is a simple present. It is not being modified in any way to a tense. Future. Soon there will be a lot of shopping malls. There will be is habrá. There will be habrá. A lot of shopping malls. In the 20 years before might, remember the modal, might, es como una posibilidad. No estamos seguros, es como que tal vez sí, tal vez no pasa. By cross, might buy groceries by computer. 
en 20 años la gente comprará abarrotes por computadora. Might buy. That is adding some possibility. In the future, people are going to use. That is another future. It's something that will happen. In the future, people are going to use cars even more. And that's it. That is the that is the clue of the sentences and the and the and the past. Uh, sorry, and the the form of the verb that they are using. But the 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 article is talking about time contrast. Future, you can see the the letters in in bold. If you see lived in past, lived, used to shop, walked. There are two ways that we are indicating past. Present is growing, shop and drive. So shop and drive are not part of the, uh, uh, the first um, sentence. And we tend to see that the First one is growing is present continuous. So there are two ways that we can have the present in base form and continuous. In future, you know the answer is will with will or going to. That is the two possibilities to form a future. So do you have questions about this? No, everything is clear. For the moment, yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, everything is, let's continue and finish the audio. With time contrast is easy to use. Just double check on your verbs. Think about it as one sentence pretends. We will now give you more time expressions that you may use with each tense. Past expression. At that time, in the past, then. Present expression. Currently, in the meantime, now. Future expressions. In the next couple of years, next in the near future. Now we want you to write a short description about how has your life changed using the expressions below. Make sure you do it and present it to your teacher to make sure you did it right. Okay, let's continue the phrases here. They are an exercise so we can verify if you are applying the tenses correctly. So, let me go to the list of people that is today coming. Jenny, oh, Jenny is not participating. Jose, Elena, Catherine. Okay, there are three. Okay, kids, you are only three today. I know four, you are four. So Jenny has, a, it is not there right now available for participating. So, uh, Rocio, as a child, you used to? Sorry, teacher. I, I don't know. I used to? Um, I don't know, teacher. Sorry. Um, the, um, are you seeing the screen right now? Yeah, I'm, I see the screen, but uh, I'm working right now and oh. I can listen a little bit, but I can listen the custom and I okay, don't, don't worry, don't worry, dynamic, but okay, 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 no, don't, don't worry, okay. So, a uh, Catherine, Jose, Jonathan, and Elena. Catherine, can you please complete the sentence? As a child, I used to. Okay. As I used to, I used to. Um, 
computer. I used to, my computer. Is the verb is missing. The verb is missing because as a child, I used to, it, it is followed by an action. Uh, uh, I used to, mm -hmm. uh, I used to play used jacks or maybe I used to play in the computer. I used to play in the computer. Okay, that is correct. As a child, I used to play in the computer. That is past because I used is in past. Yes. You have to put the two verbs in past. It is only one I used. That is the one that is in past always. Thank you, Gathering. So let's see, uh, Jose Jonathan, can you please help us with the second one? Five years ago, I... I am play soccer. No, it is not present. <laughs> Five years no. ago, it is something that already happened. Pa, cinco años atrás pasó. Entonces, ¿cómo vamos a decir? Five years ago. I. I. I played soccer in a tournament, for example. Eh, por ejemplo. Cinco años atrás yo jugué fútbol en un torneo. Because it's past. So, five years ago, I played soccer in a tournament. Okay. So, Elena, can you please complete nowadays? The meaning of nowadays is en estos días, ¿verdad? Exactly. Okay. Nowadays, I um, I buy a lot of things on the internet. Exactly. Exactly. It is something that you usually do in uh, in the present in this moment. Nowadays, I uh, buy a lot of things in the internet. Next year, we're going to Catherine again. Next year, I'm going to. Next year, I'm going to. To work in call center. Perfect. That is an action that will be performed in the in the in the future. Porque como yes. nos dicen next year, tenemos que decir el verbo I'm going to y el verbo en su forma normal, ¿verdad? Ok, yes. thank you. Now, José Jonathan, again. José Jonathan, are you there? I am there, teacher. <laughs> Okay, in five years, um, five years, <sighs> sorry, sorry, please. Uh, I don't, I do not. In five years, ¿qué, va, qué, ¿qué se imagina que va a estar haciendo en cinco años? Ah, eh. Listen to English. I'll, what do you say? <laughs> I'll. I'll... ¿Qué se imagina de qué cinco años? Ya no va a estar en inglés corporativo, niño. I'll... 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 
Ya se imagina eh. que va a ser en cinco años. Por Dios, no sé, no se imagina qué va a estar haciendo en cinco años. No. no sé, vaya, puede decir en cinco años. I'll be bilingual. I live. Uh -huh. I live. In United States. Perfect. <laughs> that is very good application. I live in the United States. Okay. In cinco años voy a vivir en Estados Unidos. Okay. And finally, Elena, again, please, in 10 years. In 10 years, I. The pronunciation is might. Mm -hmm. Might. I might have my own business. Wow. That is really nice. 10 years, I might have my own business. Yeah. It is something that is a, a, like a long term, right? Because it's 10 years. Something that is a, a, an achievement or a goal. Okay, yeah, that is perfect. Thank you, Elena. Okay, let's, this is, this is the exercise, let's go. We are beginning for, ah, uh, now let's check. <laughs> wow, this is very, a lot. Oh my God, <gasps> how long is this? Dios mío. Pobrecito, mis niños. Bastante es. Aquí van a estar con los tiempos, ¿verdad? Ya me imagino, yo creo que van a... It's 8.50. Bueno, para los que vinieron, vamos a hacer este volado. Vamos a hacer regalo. <ríe> Number one. Before the automobile. Before is... Pass. No, ¿qué significa before? Es ya preposición, es un present. adverbio de tiempo. Present. Before es un adverbio de tiempo. ¿Qué significa before? Antes. Antes, ¿verdad? Mm. Ok, entonces, ¿qué está diciendo ahí? Antes, el automóvil. El automóvil. ¿Toma? Mm. Entonces, le tenemos que completar, ¿verdad? Eh, qué es lo que está diciendo entonces yes. eh, va a ser algo que va a ser en el pasado porque está hablando del automóvil antes entonces uy no escuché no se entendió eh, Jonathan no se entendió nadita <ríe> vaya Ay, Dios mío, no se oye nada. Se le oye como que robó. Ay, no. Antes el automóvil. Hi, teacher. I think they are ready. Hi, Jenny. Welcome Será back. Thank you. Vaya, entonces aquí se salió. Jonathan tenía bastantes problemas de conexión. Estamos haciendo para los que vinieron, les vamos a hacer el knowledge check por, por ser bien portados. Entonces, este, vamos a hacer before the automobile. Es uh -huh. antes el automóvil. Entonces, vamos a hacer un past, ¿verdad? Vamos a seleccionar de esas 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 sentences. What is the complement of the sentence? Ok, vamos a leer la primera. Antes el automóvil. La primera Tampoco. dice, la gente solía comprar en pequeñas tiendas. No, no hace sentido, ¿verdad? No. Segundo, pollution. What is pollution? Contaminación. Es correcto, ok. La con Antes el automóvil. La contaminación está llegando a ser un problema serio. 
o sea, esto está hablando de un futuro, está como que ya presente y eso está hablando en pasado, tampoco es verdad. Before the automobile, most people are going to work at home. No. Porque la gente no. va a trabajar en la, en la, en la casa, tampoco, ¿verdad? En la otra. Before the automobile, people didn't travel as much from city to city. Mm. Antes del automóvil, la gente no viajaba tanto de ciudad a ciudad. That makes sense. Yes. Okay, yes. let's put it as our answer. There will be probably be cities in space. Tampoco. Future. People work more than four hours a week. No. Present. No. Tampoco. People play the first game of golf. Nada que ver eso. Podría ser, ¿verdad? Que está hablando de los automóviles, pero lo está relacionando como que antes el automóvil la gente jugó el primer juego de golf. Before the automobile, doctors might find a cure for the common cold. Antes el automóvil, los, los doctores podrían encontrar la cura del de resfriado común. Va, entonces no, esa es la más normal. Number two, again, before there were supermarkets, what is the translation of that? Antes de, lo, de haber supermercado. No. Antes, antes de que hubieran supermercados. Antes que hubieran, o antes que, ¿cuál es? Where is the verb to be? ¿Verdad? Ser o estar. Antes de que fueran supermercados. Es de que hubieran, porque there were is a. Recuerden que eso es there are, there were. There are is I. Y there were is past, antes que hubieran supermercados. Vaya, vale, empecemos. Antes que hubieran supermercados, people used to shop at small stores. Mm. No, ¿verdad? Remember, yes. we are trying it the same as the, in the first exercise. La, la contaminación está llegando a ser un serio problema, tampoco. Mucha gente está yendo a trabajar a la casa, tampoco. People didn't travel as much from city to city, tampoco. There will be probably, there will probably be cities in space, tampoco. People work more than 40 hours a week, mm -mm. People play the first game of golf, mm -mm. Doctors might find a cure for the common cold, mm -mm. Which is the answer? No one seems to be. Antes de que hubieran supermercados, People used to, to shop. Yes. At the store. Of course. Antes yes. que en el supermercado compraban en tiendita, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok, yes. number one. Ok. Yes. Number three. About 500 years ago. What is the translation of that? Mm -hmm. Jenny is speaking, but we cannot listen to her. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, teacher. Uh -huh. uh, uh, in translate or, or the meaning? Both if you want. Mm, about 500 years ago. Mm -hmm. What is that? Uh, for me, is the... Um, Um, the, the, the doctor might find a cure for the common cold. No, we are talking about the past. Acerca, ah. acerca, acerca alrededor de 500 de los, años atrás. De los 500, uh -huh. ah, okay, okay, okay. Uh, uh, the, where, where, the, mm -hmm. no. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. Eh, that people work more than four hours a week. You think that que hace 500 años atrás la gente trabajaba más de 40 horas a la semana? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, but, <laughs> but maybe no. people play the first game of golf. 
make more sense because the verb is ¿Creen que conocían el golf hace 500 años atrás? No. 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 I think can be people didn't travel as much from city to city. Hace 500 años la gente no viajó mucho de ciudad a ciudad porque eran más grandes distancias. O sea, no era yeah. que tan fácil, ¿verdad? Are you agree with me? Yes. Okay, let's try. I'm guessing with you. Number Teacher. four. Yes. Uh, is people played the first game, game of golf? I can't believe it. Elena was right. <laughs> Puchica, yes. no, no hubiera dicho que el gol, que, que ya jugaban golf a cerca de 15 años, que 15, 500 años atrás. O sea que eso es viejo, pensé que era un deporte nuevo. No. Ok. <laughs> Number four. In most offices today, en muchas oficinas ahora, o sea, actual, ¿qué hacen? <laughs> People work People more work than four hours a week. Hour. Yeah. Yes. La gente trabaja más de 40 horas a la semana, ¿verdad? Pero siempre le pagan las 40. <laughs> okay, number five. In many cities nowadays, en muchas ciudades, eh, en estos tiempos. Pollution is becoming a serious problem. Yeah. Wow, Elena, you're... Uh, on fire <laughs> <laughs> and I resolve in this moment oh <laughs> I this exercise. on fire okay number six soon coma pronto most people are going to work at home <gasps> wow yeah it's totally true nine o'clock on oh, seven in the next hundred years in los siguientes 100 años doctors might find a cure for the common cold yes yes okay number eight sometime in the future there, there will, will be probably, probably this be cities in a space be. that is courtesy of mr elon musk <laughs> Did you agree with me? <laughs> okay, let's see the, the let's see the answers because you came to class on Friday. You deserve this. Let me see. Mostrar respuestas. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Everything is correct, kids. You had a 10. <laughs> 33 points. This is this is because you came to class today. Okay. Thank you, kids. You were so kind for coming today on Friday. It's very hard. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, remember on Monday we will have class again. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. Hey, thank you for coming. Okay, bye, -bye. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night.